independent economy and pet sets are available for four dollars. That won't be the only thing that comes unplugged. <laughs> Hi, would you care to purchase an alcoholic beverage? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> but then I suppose you haven't read my book. Uh, no. <gasps> I'm still here, the Linda Granger story? Yes, my 30-year struggle with alcoholism, disease, and personal misfortune. Oh, sorry, I haven't read it. It's available in paperback, dear. <laughs> ah, Ms. Pillsworth. Nice to have you aboard again. <laughs> Off to the Paris collections, are we? Oh, good guess. Who oh, put it down to my brilliant powers of deduction. There's three fashion editors in first class, a photographer in coat, and there's a couple of supermodels doing drugs in the toilet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can't help myself. Um, look, could you do me a favor? Uh, would you say hi to my kids for me? Uh, they're back in coach with the nanny. Olivia's nine and Daniel's about four. Oh, I'll spot them. Oh, I could bring them up here if you like. Oh, no, no, no. I just want to take a morgadon and crash. Tell them mummy loves them. Daniel, can't you sit still? He is dead, Mom. No, he is not. You're being a very butt nuisance. I swear I'd chop your head up with an axe. Hello. It's Oliver and Daniel, right? No, it's Olivia and Daniel. Oh, well, I was close. Now, your mummy sends her love, and I'm your Uncle Trevor, and I've come to read you a bedtime story. Oh, hello. Now, you're a big boy, aren't you? How old are you? Boy. Oh. You're great with kids, aren't oh, you? Oh, I love them. I've got loads of nieces and nephews, and I'm godfather to my sisters. Yes. I've got kids of my own, so I spoil them rotten. <laughs> Guess that's the downside of being, you know, gay. I don't really think about it, Liam. Have you ever... with a woman? Liam, please! <laughs> well, you know, I did once. <laughs> I was 18 and very sexually confused, you know. I didn't know if I wanted to listen to Barbara Streisand records or watch Manchester United. <laughs> anyway, a group of us once, we went on a trip on a bus to the seaside. And we got slightly sozzled on the pier. And a group of these lads, they goaded me into making a move on Deirdre Birkinshaw. <laughs> and I suppose I bowed to peer pressure. Oh, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, what happened? We did. On the bus on the way home. Oh, was terrified and over ever so quickly. And I said sorry, and then she muttered the immortal line Don't worry, Quicksilver, at least there's some beer left. <laughs> listen, listen, Trevor, th there's something I've been, I've been needing to ask you. I never knew how. Oh. You're my pal, Leanne. You can ask me anything. Well, uh, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm 41. I'm divorced, and time is not exactly on my side about finding another man or having a family. I'd like you to give me a child. You won't. You know, you wouldn't have to support me financially yeah. or emotionally. No, 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 no. Not that you wouldn't be a wonderful father. Oh, God, you would, but that would be entirely your choice. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, good Lord. Leanne, you want to do it right now, don't you? I get it. I should just say to the passengers, oh, please fasten your seatbelts. There's going to be a little turbulence in seats 9, E and F. <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? Well, she can't be serious. Oh, but she is, Barry. She says her biological clock's ticking. Oh, look. All that long haul flying affects women of a certain age. How's that? Well, you know, cycles and ovaries, uh, women's stuff, Barry. So, what did you tell her? Well, you know, I said I'd think about it. I see. So you're thinking about cheating on me? 
Oh, come on, Barry. We'll be like cheating. She's a woman. She's a sexual partner, Trev. All right. Come on. Don't get in a tiz about it. Nothing's going to come of it. Why don't you defrost a lasagna and we'll watch a river run through it again? All right. All right. Spinach or meat? You're a Did you think it over? Leon, look. Oh, come on, darling. We both know I've been at this job far too long. Just a way of avoiding the fact that I don't have a real life. I don't want to be in hotel rooms anymore. London, Rome. I want a real home. I want a family. Leanne, you're a beautiful woman. You could find somebody straight. Well, probably not in cabin crew, but, you know, certainly on the flight deck. That first assistant, uh, Rick. You are my best friend, Trevor. You know, Rick has done half the fleet. sensitive, you're kind, and you've done it before. What, with Deidre Birkinshaw, who now lives with a policewoman, which tells you what the experience did for her? <laughs> we have a two-day layover in Washington, and the timing is perfect for me. You know what I mean, time-wise? Oh. We'll have a lovely dinner, open a bottle of champagne, we'll have a room with a view. I don't want to make it hard for you, Trevor. Well, I think the whole point of this exercise is that you do, Liam. <laughs> Your attention, please. Arriving passenger, Tom Sanderson. Please meet your party. A bit of bubbly. I'll settle me tummy. Mm. Oh! Think of it. A child. A little Trevor. <laughs> or a whatever. Uh, something Victorian. Alice, Antonia. Oh! It'll be wonderful. Cribs, holidays, white water rafting. <laughs> oh, how do I look? <laughs> oh, you look smashing, Leanne. <laughs> Where's that from? Uh, Victoria's Secret. Let's just make sure this is ours, all right. <laughs> what, mm. what? Perfume? Too much? No, 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 no. I'm just trying to place it. Oh. Uh, ah, opium. Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah. Uh, we got it on in flight duty free. I know it. Oh, <laughs> oh that'll be the uh, Lufthansa 419 to Frankfurt. Mm, not be having the cold collation about now. The bratwurst with sauerkraut on the uh, rounds of pumpernickel. Shut up, Trevor. Oh. Shut up, please. You know why we're here. Come yeah. on, come on. Okay. All right. Here we go. Make a woman out of me, okay? Fertilize me. Oh, Leanne, love. Oh, you're not a plowed field. I'm sorry, Jess. I'm babbling here. I'm so nervous. Yes, I'm just so nervous about what's going to happen. Yes, I'm just so afraid that it will. <laughs> okay. Don't right. Worry. All right. Here we go. Oh, come okay, on. Here now. we go. What is it you Brits all say? Mm. Just close your eyes and think of England. Right. Oh, I might be better off thinking of Antonio Banderas, but. Uh, Hmm. I've been starting a compost heap. Oh, have you? Huh. I'm away for five minutes and you're bad, mad and dangerous to know. <laughs> More to the point. What have you been up to? I called your usual hotel. It said you weren't there. Said you'd gone away for the weekend. Look, Barry. Leanne's a very good friend, and she's not a happy woman, and I had a chance of changing all that. So you rose to the occasion, did you? No, I didn't, actually. I don't know if it's because of what I am or what you mean to me, but I couldn't. All right. You say so. But I am going to be the father of a child. Well, you'll have to run that one by me again. Well, I'm going to donate some sperm, you know, so that they can impregnate Liam with one of those turkey basters or, you know, whatever it is that they use. Of course, I won't have to be involved in all that end of it. 
You don't have to be jealous, because, you know, when I go into that little room with me plastic beaker, I'm going to have a photograph of you. I think I'll take that one of you coming out of the sea at Mykonos. <laughs> Give me a hug, you daft thing. Come on. That's it. <laughs> Let it go. You big Oh. You haven't thrown up again, have you? Oh, I'll be all right in a minute. Come on, drink this. You've got to pack this in, you know, in your condition. I know I am at the end of the month. I'm going to go to Michigan, stay with my, my mom. Oh. Now, is it, you want me to show up there for the Lamar's classes, or...? No, honey, yeah. you have done everything that has been asked of you. Well, it was my pleasure. <sighs> now I'm going to start doing the hotels. Better now? Uh -huh. Trevor? Yes? You ever think about that night? Well, it has flitted across my mind a couple of times, Leanne, yes. It made me feel kind of special, you know. You being able to make love to me. Leanne, you are special. And you're a great improvement on Deirdre Birkin, sure. <laughs> but what we did that night wasn't making love. We consummated. Making love sort of do with my boyfriend. So don't get any ideas in that direction. <laughs> oh, right. I'm not talking about getting married. Mm. Besides, in my experience, married men don't make very good husbands. Oh, I'll remember that next time Barry pops the question. <laughs> you know, if it's a boy, I'm going to call him Trevor. Oh, Leon. <laughs> oh, he's going to have me weeping all over the canopies. <laughs> Come here, you. Thanks, Dad. Oh, oh not again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's having my babies. What a wonderful way to tell a silly old puff you're loving. Having my baby. Doopy 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 doop, boopy doopy doop, boopy doopy.